hey guys and welcome back to another video so in today's video i am going to be shading three more boxes for my credit card yes i'm excited so what i did was excuse me i paid um only minimal balances because we are going through something so minimum balances it might be the same way unless i sell something online and i make a few dollars then i'll be able to make extra date debt payments so for right now i'm only making minimum payments so i get to color three boxes which i am excited and i wanted you guys to, to you know go on this journey with me so here go my first box I hope this is the same color of the other colors. But yeah, guys, I hope everyone is well during this, this private thing that's going on. Um, let's communicate. Um, let me know in the comment section below, like how you guys are doing. How are you guys holding up? Are y'all working from home? Are y'all on lockdown? Like, let's communicate. So let me know how things been going for you. And I hope you and your family are well. I don't know if I'm gonna you know i'm hoping to make payments here on out for next month because all i have is the credit the two credit cards and the student loan that's all i have left so i'm i'm getting close guys i'm getting close and i think i forgot yes i did i forgot to put my paper here huh ah, but it's okay so i'm getting closer i'm two more away to to getting to my 25 percent mark so we on a good uh road path whichever way you want to say it but this is for my credit card now my student loan i know you guys remember i did this one here and this is 163 a box right this one's gonna be a little harder because my amount is way bigger so what i decided to do was i decided to break it down right so i decided to break down my loans, like my loan number three and four, I decided to break that down. So together that was $1,307.63. So each box is $14. So I'm gonna start off with this one. So that one I won't even bother to look at because I think I'll see more progress this way than I would be trying to actually figure out 163. 163 for each box, I feel like I'm never gonna, because the payments, I would have to make $163 to find my progress. Not saying that I can't do it, but I'd rather do it this way where it's broken down and I'll be able to see the progress and it's a lower amount. So the more I put towards three and four loan, I'll be able to see myself go. And then once that's done, I'll be working on loan nine. Cause I, you know, I'm doing the, the debt snowball and then i'll be working on loan five and then loan six loan seven and then loan two and then loan one and then i am done so we're gonna work at it one one step at a time one step at a time but i figured if i do it like that it'll work out better for me so on to my emergency fund that i just placed a hundred dollars let me put this here because it's gonna mess up my paper um let me find my colors okay guys i'm back so i just put a hundred dollars into my emergency savings fund so I am going to shade two of these boxes here. Cause now I have 440. 
in my envelope, which I might just add a $10 bill just to make it even. That looks like the same color, looks different. Is that the So yeah, as I was saying, I think I might just add the $10 just to make the 50 so it can be even. So there we go, guys. Sorry if it's different. I think the other colors are different. Oh, I got to get my colors back together again. So yeah, guys, so I added two more. So that's one, two, three, four. That's $440 I have in my emergency fund. And like I said, I might add those ten dollars in just to make it even, so I could color one more. So yeah, guys. So this is my update on my charts, my credit card chart, my emergency fund, and a little update on my student loan on how I'm gonna do it for the next time. So yeah, guys. If you like this type of video, please give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to share and subscribe, and I'll be seeing everyone in my next video.